Good morning, everyone, and it is a fine day to announce that I now have over 500 subscribers. Everyone who made this possible, thank you very, very much. So with the sun shining, now is a perfect time to finally go and get that farfish, who I remind you is on Route 43, which is the route that leads to the Lake of Rage, so I'll be heading in the general direction of the Lake of Rage now. Anyway, do you remember the chain letter that I've mentioned at the beginning of the last video? Well, I've gotten it a couple more times since I've uploaded the video. I think it was three or four, but the thing is, I have 130 friends, so I am exposing myself to getting this message up to 130 times. Now I know not all 130 of my friends are stupid enough to fall for it, but seriously, for those who do, this begs the question, HOW DO YOU DUMBASSES MANAGE TO BREATHE? And keep in mind, I've got only 130 friends and I've already gotten it a bunch of times. Now imagine how hard it would be for someone like Chugga Conroy, for example, who has 11,000 friends! Now since he's pretty much a YouTube celebrity, it should come as no surprise that he already gets a lot of spam in his inbox, but for chain letters, it ought to be that much worse. I, I think he could get it easily a few hundred times, the exact same message over and over. Okay, so now this probably is a hiker that I'm going to have to get past, and let's cross our fingers that hopefully I won't get caught, either on the way to Route 43 or on the way back. By the way, there was a small area near the middle entrance to Mount Mortar that I ignored. It contains the last three Apricorns that you can give Kurt to make Pokeballs out of them. Okay, come on. Can you stop moving? Stop moving! Well, he doesn't stop, but at least I managed to sneak past him without getting caught. Okay, another phone call, and oh, it's just banter. SHUT UP! SHUT UP! If it's not for an item or a rematch, then I don't care! Okay, so now I am at Route 43, and since Farfetch only has a 20% encounter rate, I am going to spare you the search. So Gengar goes in the lead for sleeping purposes, and let the search begin! Okay, I've found one, so first step is nailing a hypnosis, not just doing it, but nailing it, since as usual, there are some accuracy issues. Okay, so now that it's asleep, well, I can't hit it with Nightshade because it's immune to it, and Ice Punch and Thunder will kill it. So I'm gonna have to resort to an HM Slave here, namely Psyduck. I wonder how Surf is gonna do. It can't kill a level 16 Farfetch, can it? I mean, it's a Farfetch, but at the same time, it's a Psyduck that has a 4 level disadvantage, so. Let's see exactly how much damage this does. Whoa! To be honest, I expected a lot more than that. So maybe it can take three more of them and, and then I'll be able to bring back Gengar and catch it. So this is Surf number two and it's at about halfway. Can it really take four and live? I'm not too sure because well, the first one didn't seem to do that much damage, but the second one seemed to do a lot more, and this one too. I'm not going to continue surfing, especially since it's still sleeping. I'm going to do scratch instead. Oh, a critical hit! I got lucky that I didn't kill it, so now is the time to bring back Gengar. And I think I'm going to have to put it back to sleep since... And there we go. Yeah, use Peck. For uh, another critical hit, at least it didn't do that much damage, so here we go, it's asleep again, and all that's left to do is chuck a few balls until I catch it. Pokeballs, there are 13 of them left, so let's see, ball number one, one, two, three, no, it's so close! But it didn't wake up really quickly, so I can try my hand at it again. So here we go, once more. No! Not even once! Oh man! 
Okay, still sleepy, so we are going to try again. Ball number three. How will it go this time? One, two, three. Yes! Farfish was caught, so now I am no longer going to have HM Slave Woes until the end of the game. Everything I'm going to catch is going to go on my fighting team from now on. Except for Entei, which is a requirement to get who, but other than that, it's going to be for fighting. So, with that out of the way, I can now return to Route 39, but first I still have to sneak past that trainer that's waiting for me right at the exit here. Come on, come on. Just okay, that was cool. I don't know if they can go from looking left to looking right or vice versa, or if they can only move in 90 degrees intervals. But per personally, I I don't know. I, I just had the impression while he had his back turned that now was the time or never to get going. So now I'm going to head back to Ecritique to pick up Farfetch as a permanent replacement for Bellsprout. By the way, thank you, Bellsprout. You've been very useful. You have definitely earned your keep with your HM slaveness and your kamikaze attack on Silver way back at the beginning of the game. And speaking of the beginning of the game, back then I mentioned Stage 3 of the Suspect Ladder, and the voting for Stage 3 is probably going to begin in a few days. And uh, the formula determining who is going to be allowed to vote has been published, and believe it or not, there's some controversy surrounding that formula, because it's basically the, your ladder rating multiplied by your experience with each of the suspects, and each of the suspects are multiplied by some sort of controversy factor. So, for example, your experience with Garchomp is going to be multiplied by 3.5, whereas your experience with Manaphy is only going to be multiplied by 1.5, because there's more doubt as to where Garchomp will fall in than there is doubt about where Manaphy will fall in. So those numbers are the controversy factors, but there is controversy on the controversy factors, believe it or not, as now I'm going to do what I said I would do, I'm going to deposit Bellsprout first, there we go, bye bye Bellsprout, and uh, I'm going to pick up Farfetch, and I right now I'm going to teach it Cut, because well I'm going to use it for Cut and Fly, but I don't have Fly yet, yet. I think I get it in Cyan Wood, and besides I need to defeat Chuck if I want to be able to use Fly. So teach Cut to Farfetch, here we go! But, as I was about to say, not everyone agrees on the controversy factors. Some people are certain that Garchomp really belongs in Ubers, and some other people really believe that it should be unbanned. But isn't that kind of discrepancy exactly what justifies the controversy in the first place? I mean, use your head! But still, the concept of controversy about controversy, it's something I never really expected to see, and now I'm starting to believe why the casual players mock us so much. Controversy on controversy, that's definitely a new one. As I think it's the first Chesto Berry I picked up in this game. Those are popping up rather late compared to the other status healing berries. So now I've made it to the Moo Moo farm, where the big story is that the mill tank is sick and won't give them any milk, so I gotta give the mill tank a bunch of orange berries. I think it's six or seven. I'm not exactly sure on the number, and... What? What the hell? This is... This is... Oh, come on! This isn't sensitive at all! This is just a stereotype! No! Farmers speak like that? Like, where are the translators even sensitive at all? This is just ridiculous! Which begs the question, do they have farmer talk in Japan? And if there indeed is, was it used in the Japanese version? Okay, so now we see the twins here tending to the mill tank, but I'm not going to give it berries right now, I'm going to do that next time. Woo, I think the echo is pretty strong here. 
Can we have some variety in dialogue, please?